See, what they don't know is they're tuning in to DBYT Podcast. My name is Taisha Hans, and this is my show where I'll explore the ins and outs of the world around me. You can tune in every Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Welcome back, everybody, to DBYT. I'm your host, Aisha, and tonight we will be talking about the pros and cons of quitting and what benefits and deficits they can lead to in your life. I want to give a bit thanks to all the support for people who continue to listen to my podcast and receive it well. With that being said, let's get into it. Hey everybody, today I'm with Miss Ajay and we will be talking about quitting, elevation, and comfortability. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? You know, just chilling, getting back just into chilling. the swing of things, you know. There you on that. <laughs> so, for all of our lives, we have been told that winners never quit and quitters never win, but honestly, how true is that? So, our first topic of the night is quitting is for winners. So my first question for you is initially, what are your views on quitting? I think it's just a no, no. Always, if it's something that you really, I think you should just always, always, always make sure that you're doing that. And starting over isn't quitting. So if you feel like I got to start over, so I'm, no, it's okay to start over. You got to start over with everything in life if you ask me. So that's just my views. Like nothing should be, you should never quit anything. Anything that you really want, it takes time, it takes work. Yeah, I I agree with that. It's just some things are meant to be and some things aren't. Like everything isn't for everybody, (laughs) but you gotta gotta know how to like fill that out. Like that's as simple as that. (laughs) Right, like if it don't work out, that's not quitting and you decide to move something else because maybe this is what you really want to do that's you figuring out what you want but you knowing you want to do something or you always switching your goals up just because it's hard you just gonna quit nah say it again for them people in the back (laughs) (laughs) they they ain't hearing you man like literally it's okay like i was just like the book that i'm reading mindset it literally just said like give your all whenever you're doing something because that's all that anybody could really ask you to do like it's okay that you're not excelling in that thing but as long as you're giving your all especially when you want to do something that's all that really matters right exactly so obviously we've been through things that lead us to quitting so when do you know when it's time to actually like quit like just drop it for real for real though <clears throat> when it comes to like uh jobs or leaving toxic situations like when is that pivotal point where it's like okay I gotta leave this alone oh that's a good question um that's a very good question you felt like not when they felt like not when you think you felt like when you felt like you've done all that you could do when you feel like I gave you all the love I could give you or I gave you all the advice I could give you or I taught you as much as I possibly you know if when I'm if I give my all and I know I gave you my all and it's still a situation that's when it's time for me to slide now is it gonna be that easy no it's not. <laughs> the whole time of you giving person but tend to struggle with that really ain't hard is just walking off folks like it ain't that hard to walk off. It be our emotions that aren't allowing us to walk off. So when it comes to relationships, when you feel like you've given your all and it's still not working out, that's when it's time to either A, quit the whole situation, stop it right there, right then and there, or maybe take a step back and figure out what it is you want. Because sometimes it don't be that they ain't doing what we want them, what we want us to do. We just not realizing that they, they're not who we need to be with right now. Like, exactly. it don't, <clears throat> it's a lot though to it because emotions run. Emotions will make you slap somebody, hug somebody, <laughs> you know. But that's when, like, I feel once you grasp that, other things in life going along with that won't be that hard. Also, going back on what you just said with the mo- like leading off of emotion, I do think that people, uh, when they do get in relationships, like me, I try to think on logic. Like, how can we both help each other grow? Like, 
in my opinion, love isn't enough. So I'm looking for somebody right. that I can oh have a partnership God, with. <laughs> you know, like yeah. it's it's so many times where people is they they force themselves to uh, settle. I think because it's yeah. like I love this person. It's like okay, yeah. and <laughs> and what? I, and I can tell you, I'm here with you. I am a living witness mm-hmm. of forcing because I'm just so. Damn it, I know I want this. You you can get it. Just come on. Like, that's what's going on in my head. But you know, forcing isn't isn't good. I'd rather I'd rather you stop doing something than to force something. Yeah, definitely. I had to leave um one of my well, I guess a lot of my situations <laughs> in the past. <laughs> okay, majority of them are definitely, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it's like, it's like you get to a point where either you emotionally like drained or you're just like trying to see your worth and you're like is it really worth all of this like I'm sad all the time or I'm just irritated all the time or that you don't want to treat somebody bad based of based off of how you're feeling like towards them like you know they're a good person or they're genuine and it's like but things that they do is just like unacceptable sometimes and you're just like yo (laughs) But looking yeah. at it on a on another realm, even jobs, like there's times oh, yeah. when people give too much to these jobs who will basically replace you with a, ble- a bat of an oh, eye. A bleak of an eye. Mm-hmm. But see, let me tell you about that now. It, it, it it's a it's a straddle kind of thing. It's like I'm I'm there with you because it's like why is y'all most of our depression, most of our anger and stuff, I feel comes from my job, our job. Because especially now that COVID has happened and everybody's working from home mostly, that peace that you had, which was your home, ain't your peace no more. I mean, it is, but it ain't. Because it's mm-hmm. like your office and your peace. So it's like, you need the job because you got to pay your bills. Or some people may have children. Or some people may have someone they have to take care of. So it's like you fight through that depression but at the same time I understand what you're saying I feel you completely on that we mm-hmm. really be sitting here still doing it and that oh and that right there is where people gotta look and realize do you want more for yourself yeah I'm you know if you know that doing a b c and d gonna get you to e then stop doing jfk P. like stop going around but people just gotta be focused it's definitely a circum- circumstantial type of thing because everybody obviously <laughs> has different uh, components in their lives that motivate them to do different things. But I will yeah. say like, um, for example, my first job was at Burger King and mm-hmm. I was definitely undervalued, but I was like overpressed because it's like, they expect you to do so much and they don't give you any return. They don't talk about raises. They don't, they don't talk about doing anything for you like to show appreciation. So while you're like dead serious, like, busting your ass like for real they're you don't you're not even appreciated like they don't care they just want to use you until you can't do nothing anymore it's like oh well can you stay like uh, another shift can you do a double can you do this can you do that can you come in early and it's like whoa i'm only getting paid like nine dollars yeah <laughs> right, paying me for real not you want me to work for real like, right <laughs> not at fast food for real are you serious yeah so it's like you really have to because it's especially right now but i've been looking around the area that i live (laughs) that i live in and a lot of people are hiring so there are opportunities out there you just gotta go (laughs) yeah boy that's that's something also i know i have different realms of this because you know everybody has different uh situations right so like in school um I think a lot of people or maybe some people know that I started out as a computer science major and I like once I got to my sophomore year of uh, that fall sophomore year I was very like no <laughs> yeah. I was very set because I was like I'm not I'm not getting this and you know college isn't cheap so when okay. you're <laughs> when you're going through these classes you have to basically know they will lie to you and tell you that oh you can take your time you know no you can't yeah they be trying to be our sugar and stuff definitely and they they're lying <laughs> uh, right definite te- um testament to that because like 
one or two credits could, um, you know, force you to have to either pay out of pocket like me or have to uh, stay another semester, unlike me, but you know. <laughs> but to wrap up this question, if you do feel like you have to quit, just make sure you have a backup plan. Um, right. Don't quit without another offer on deck because you do not want to be right. with absolutely nothing. No, you don't. So can you tell us about a time you had to change direction for the betterment of your life? I was just thinking like, you know, I want to better myself. And when I say this, I don't mean nobody over here like, Y'all gotta go to school to be better. Like, I hear you, ma'am, sir. But I'm talking about me right now. For me, I know I needed school. I needed to go to school. I needed to finish school. I needed to have something to show for myself. I feel like for me, a degree would show you that I really am about this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really here for this. So basically, you know, the situation of me going to school, I kind of had to make an option of, am I still going to work or and, and miss this opportunity? Or am I going to have to find me a job real quick so that I can quit, you know what I'm saying, and go to school? Mm -hmm. When I had to make that decision, there were other, there were unforeseen things that were going to happen that I didn't even know. Like, little things like being short on money. You know, everybody has had a time where they were short one time or anything like that. And just that little short on money situation just brought me in a whole different area where I had to reevaluate everything around me. You know, like, okay, girl, you was finna do this, but you can't do this no more because you got to really sit down for real, for real, because you got to pay for this, you got to pay for that, you ain't working no more. So that's one of them things where I felt like was where I had to reevaluate my life. I've had multiple situations where I had to reevaluate, but I think this was the hardest because I'm trying to do better. And when you try to do better, a lot of BS is thrown at you. So you're trying to do better and going through stuff at the same time. And it just, it's just a lot. But yeah, that was, right now I'm going through one of those moments. Well, I want to first off by saying congratulations and good luck to you on your journey, because I know that's not an easy uh, route. It's It definitely takes a, a, a level of commitment and like um, a level of maturity to actually make that decision. Because it is things that you're going to have to pass up or um, turn down because of it. And trust me, the obstacles, they start to come. But oh, yeah. with, when you have your mind set on something, anything is possible. Right. Most definitely. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for sharing that little tidbit of your life with us. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you know, I kind of gave a little... A little bit. It's just that I'm not embarrassed to say certain things. Like, everybody goes through things, and sometimes some people need to hear somebody else saying something for them to finally wake up and realize it's okay. Yeah. Yo, like, literally, your story could be someone's inspiration, and that's that's what the purpose is man it's always just trying to find ways to help everybody else because like in return you're gonna get that same or if not more you know what i mean right and if anybody is listening to this and they did feel or away or anything or understood what i said in me saying this i still had a backup plan you know i have I know my time frames. I know when I'm going to be working again. I have a backup plan. I had also calculated. I have savings. So if there's anybody out there that's feeling like this whole time you've been wanting to go to school or you've been wanting to do anything in life, period, but there was something that was holding you back, if you really want it, you're going to find a way to make it happen so that you can go get it. But don't just quit your job. Don't just stop doing stuff and just be broke now. Don't do that. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah guys don't quit your day job man I mean we all don't want it and we all want to be successful I think especially in our generation like it's so many entrepreneurs and like people who are trying to find different paths hey. to be self-employed and become bigger than what um our parents and grandparents and even our great-grandparents had the opportunity to be so I think as a generation with that aspect we are right. pretty cool on that and I like that about us oh yeah oh yeah like I don't know not one person that don't got their own business that don't do something for themselves to make them some money that don't got nothing to do with a job yeah. and I'm not saying that a job is bad I'm just saying it's a lot of us out here now that have businesses and speaking of businesses y'all want to follow me real quick 
<laughs> Tell them. On Instagram. <laughs> I have a business, you guys. I make handmade resin products. You know, smoke accessories. I do home decor, such as um, the little thing. What's that What's that thing called, girl? Uh, My mind blown. Stop playing the with The instant me. holders. Yeah. I make the instant holders. <laughs> you, I think I you, did you tell me you do frames? I make so yeah, I make a lot of things. So, I seen her make a yeah. purse. <laughs> right. I can make a purse. So if y'all want to follow me, my Instagram is, of course, at N-S-T-A-N-T-C-O-S-M-O-S. Instant Cosmos is the name. Yeah, I'm going to do a deal for y'all. Y'all follow me and we're going to see what's going on. Y'all see? Y'all, I mean, because I know y'all listening out there. I know y'all are. I see the numbers. <laughs> so, <laughs> now. right. So, don't be shy. Go follow her page and go ahead and get that little discount. You know, some on the house. Not on the house, but you yeah, know what I mean. Some on the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a Black woman, why do you think that it is so important for us to demand more from our position? Mm. Well, uh, uh, you know, obviously, number one, we have to go through more. It is least likely, you know, for a white person, I'm sorry, you guys, but a white person to be sitting here getting cussed all out, you know, degraded, then it would be a black a black person, you know, it's least likely for them. Um, also, I do feel like in a way, we are already looked at like, mm, you know, and I just think that we just need the same respect that everybody else gets. And because we have to demand that and say that because some, some people try to act like they dumb and don't really know what's going on. Some people try to try you and you just want to nip that automatically in the bud mm. and just go ahead, be assertive, stand on all 10 and handle your business. Completely, exactly. It's, it's no like mystery about the things that, uh, like especially with uh, social media, literally putting it in your face. So it's not like anybody's like unaware about what's going on. Yeah. And also as a black woman, right. it's just sometimes we wanna have things for our own just to show you like we are capable, we are intelligent, we can do things for ourselves and like not to be like, oh, I'm independent and I don't need no man. It's not even about uh, that aspect. It's more so like <sighs> at, in this generation or even in this society, we're not we're not the at home wives anymore. We're actually going out there making our name known, making our talent seen, our voices heard. So it is very important for us to put ourselves out there to make something of ourselves and without having um, a condescending like title attached to us. Like, oh, she's a gold digger. All she want to do is date ball players because she want to be set. Yeah. No. We want nah. <laughs> nine times out of ten. If well, I, don't, I can't speak for every woman, but if if in the cards I have a ball player down the line, it is not because of his money. It's just gonna be because of his energy and my energy attracted to each other, and I'm on his level and he's right. on mine, and that's <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Right, girl, I totally feel you. And then also just having that demand. It even goes outside of the workplace as well because we also have to deal with things on the outside. It's the same thing we're dealing with on the inside is 10 times worse on the outside. Yeah. So, and it's just little things like people, you know, people can make their own prices for what you're going to pay them for things, whether it's the little things, the big things, anything. And it's just, we just want to be prepared, ready, and able, period. Yeah especially when it comes to like knowing our worth because yeah. sometimes like I'm not gonna lie like I want to support people like I just got a job so now I can actually <laughs> have the funds to do that because it's like I be wanting to support so many people but then I look at my bank account I'm like I forgot I didn't have any income coming in for a long time and even when I did it was part-time and I was very limited at school with the hours like we only could work like 19 to 20 hours a week at school and then we get paid bi-weekly so let's do the math hey, <laughs> you always gotta be from your pocket girl a repost a like a comment a referral it's always gonna be acceptable as well. It's, it's all of it is the same. It's the same price to me. Yeah, that that's true. That's true. 
because some of these people the thing about reposting and like you see like your friends not doing it that it's like it's almost a slap in the face because it's like bro you it's not hard to do that to support it's me because you support it's all these not. famous people <laughs> they don't right. even know it's not hard it really isn't but you know everybody got their own little feeling about that but i just feel like if we and i'm not saying associates and i ain't saying we friends like if we friends i'm automatically just supposed to be reposted from you i feel or at least a comment or referral or something like you not giving me no kind of support you telling me my stuff look cute in my face and you you know it's different because you're saying that to me anybody can say that to me can you repost me please because your simple repost could put me on to maybe five people ten people two people exactly and i mean i'm your friend so why we ain't going hard for each other it Thank you. Like, is that's in our friendship contract? Like, come on. Yeah. We gotta find print support. <laughs> I ain't gotta say that for you to get that. Like, that just come with it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I mean, people gonna learn at their own pace because one day the tables are gonna turn and they're gonna want somebody to support them. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my next question to you is, do you think sometimes we get scared to give up on something that isn't working and move on due to our perception of how we think people will see us? I think we get scared because of our own selves. Like, I do think other people are involved. Some people do think about what other people are gonna think and say, but some people, it's like a self thing. Like some people be beating themselves up worse than the next person. So it's like they're trying to prove so much to themselves that they kind of scared to let themselves down. Like it just depends on the person and what state they're in. In most cases, yeah, it's the people. Cause people, excuse my language, they talk shit. Like Ooh. they, they always got something to say about somebody the whole time. They shit don't smell good either. But it's just the world and how it is and how people are portrayed and what people say. Because when it comes down to the nitty gritty, half of these folks that be talking about other folks don't even have half what they have. Come on, speak on it. <laughs> so it's it's definitely that. And I think it's, def- it's also a self thing. Like you're trying to prove stuff to my, to yourself and other people. I think you hit it right on the nail because I literally have something very similar to that. I put a work on worrying about what truly makes you happy instead of what others' feelings are towards what you're doing. Because if you are out there trying to please people or people please or whatever, that is very destructive just due to the fact that there will be opposing um, opinions on everything. So what someone yeah. likes that you're doing, somebody else might hate it, like absolutely disgusted by it. So it's like, how in the world could you actually find a solution to satisfy both of those different opinions? And even yeah. even within that, the small variance that could change the, even the slightest uh, opinion, it, it could turn into 10 different opinions. And you're just like trying yeah. to work yourself on making everybody else happy when at the end of the day, you have to make yourself happy. Exactly. And it's it's just, that should be the first thing. But people, like, as we grow, we're kind of not necessarily taught, but we're shown to put other people before yourself because of when we see other people do so much for somebody else or things like that. But in our actuality, like, if you can't do for yourself right now, and that means financially, emotionally, mentally, if you can't do for yourself right now, you can't, you know, that's the first, that's just the number one thing. And then you too busy worrying about what somebody else saying about you. Like, you know how hard your life going to be. Mm-hmm. You know how many different things you're going to have to change about yourself. Like, you know how much money you're going to be spending. You know how much time you're going to be wasting. If you don't know, I need you to understand, like, that is not okay. Your life, so what? When somebody's sitting there asking you, what have you done with your life? Oh, I did this for him and her and him and her and her and her and her. Like, what you do for you? What you got to show for you? So it's just one of them things. Like, people gonna talk shit regardless whether you're doing good or bad. So once you get that in your mind, just do you. 
I know y'all heard what she just said. Whether you doing <laughs> good or bad, sweetheart, they gonna talk. It don't matter. So you just it's gotta do what you. You really do. Every life is precious. And, it, and every mm-hmm. life has meaning no matter how big or small it may be yes. it just depends on how you perceive that and what what is small to someone else may be large to someone else because exactly. you know we, we don't grow up with the same content we don't exactly. grow up with the same circumstances so right. don't worry about what everybody else got to say but you know I'm just say y'all, y'all hear her because she yes yes I'm- Oh my gosh, stop. (laughs) So the last question for this section is, after all of this conversation, in order to win, do you think that quitting could be seen as a positive in our society or would um, it do more damage? I think it would do more damage. Okay. And what what makes you say that? So though we not worried about what nobody else got to say about us, Mm -hmm. but... If I'm trying to get somewhere, I care about what you got to say because you're the, like for a job. When you're doing an interview, you care about what they say about you because that's going to determine if you get the job or not. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like when it's doing, when it's about things that can put you further in life, when it's about business, when it's about money, quitting definitely is going to be a negative look on you because anybody going to want to work with you anybody going to want to deal with you because in their mind you're quitting you're lazy um and i mean i think that goes with everything else too being a dancer if somebody wants to do some kind of video and you come in and you want to quit and they ask you to do it again and then you quit and they ask you to do it again and then you quit they ain't gonna ask you no more that's true so i think in all aspects it's not a good it, it doesn't look good because then that after after the world is yourself so if you quit on yourself you really down bad okay okay all right guys so you've made it to the end of this podcast as always you can follow me on social media and on my main account at underscore sanai or at dbyc productions as stated in the episode instant cosmo will be giving discounts to dbyc listeners so hit her up and follow her and get you some home decor and resin products if you have any comments suggestions topics or questions you can feel free to hit me up on social media and you can tune in next week we'll be discussing yet another wonderful topic with another guest but that is all we have for the tonight i'm taisha and i promise i won't bite my tongue